It was a beautiful morning on the island of Sodo. Gordon and James were at the washdown. You know, little James, Gordon boasted, I am an important engine on the island. I don't know what the fuck controller will do without me to run the express on time. And I don't know how many visitors wants to ride on a splendid red engine like me, said James. At that time, Patrick was away to be mended, so the fat controller asked Percy to do some shunting in the yard. Well, at least we don't have to be a dirty engine like silly little Percy, laughed Gordon and puffed away. I'm not silly, puffed Percy. The only engines are silly is you two. You're just jealous, Percy, teased James. Percy was upset. Meanwhile, Duck and Oliver were in the yard when the fat controller came to see them. The visitors of the Railway Society are coming to Soto for the weekend, he said. Do you want me to collect them, sir? asked Duck. No need to, Duck said the fat controller, because City of Truro is already bringing them. Duck was delighted. Oh, I can't wait to see him again, he whistled. Neither do I, tooted Oliver. City of Truro is the fastest engine on the Great Western Railway. He was the first engine to reach up 100 miles per hour is famous and the finest engine in the world. When Truro arrived at Nafford Station, the fat controller was waiting for him. Welcome back, city of Truro, he said proudly. You can go and have a rest after your long journey. Thank you, sir, smiled Truro. As the visitors of the Railway Society disembarked, Percy pulled into the station. He was very surprised to see City of Truro. City of Truro? He whistled. What are you doing here? The visitors of the Railway Society are here for the weekend, replied Truro. I'm here to give them a tour around Sodor. Then Truro could see Percy was tired. You looking tired, Percy? What's wrong? Percy told Truro about working hard in the shunting yard and what Gordon and James said about him. All they do is boasting and thinking about it themselves. Well, you are a great Western saddle tank engine, Percy, said Truro. You should stand up and teach them our great Western way, all ship shape and Swindon fashion. Percy thought about this. Then he smiled. If Truro says I'm a Great Western engine, then I will show Gordon and James the Great Western way. Later, Percy was at the washdown. He was having a good wash. When James pulled in, Move aside, dirty Percy, he hooted. I'm an important engine who needs a wash. But I was here first, James, said Percy calmly, so you will have to wait. I can't wait, huffed James. I want a wash now. There's two ways of doing things, James, said Percy. The wrong way or the great western way. James was furious. <whistles> By the time Percy had finished, James was very late indeed. As Percy was shunting trucks for Bear's goods train, Gordon steamed in with the express. Take my coaches away, little Percy, he huffed. I will when I shunt in Bear's trucks, said Percy. No! You take my coaches away now! shouted Gordon. There are two ways of doing things, Gordon, said Percy. 
the wrong way or the great western way. And Percy carried on shunting, leaving Gordon feeling rather cross. Oh, the indignity, he grunted. <whistles> that evening, Percy puffed into the shed. When the fat controller arrived, he was cross. Percy, I have some complaining today. You took too long on the wash down, and Jane was late with his train. And you didn't take Gordon's coaches away, he said. Why were you acting like this today? I only did it to show the big engines the great western way, sir, said Percy. And he told the fat controller what Gordon and James said about him, and what City of Truro told him. The fat controller sighed. Percy, I believe City of Truro was right. You were a great western engine before, but you were brought to Sodor when the big engines were on strike, and couldn't shunt their own train, and you were repainted in a northwestern green colour. I'm very sorry, sir said Percy sadly. I guess I've went a bit too far. Don't worry, Percy, said the fat controller, but you have worked harder today than any other engine, and Patrick will be back at work tomorrow. Percy was pleased. When the fat controller left, Duck and Oliver came into the shed. They have heard everything. Well, Percy, wished Oliver, so you were a great western engine after all. You don't have to do what I usually do, added Duck. You just have to do what you always do, just being Percy. And that made Percy felt better. <laughs>